becomes more pervasive, I don't necessarily know that people in minorities are going to reap the same benefits as everyone else. Um, and I also, as a woman in AI, yeah. the amount of women in AI concerns me um, in terms of that kind of gender yeah. gap. Yeah, definitely. Because I think a Microsoft CEO actually released a great LinkedIn post this week talking about women in technology. So actually there's only 29% of women in technology roles. Um, one that obviously decreases rapidly when women start trying for children and start families sure. and try to return to work. But then when you look at women in AI, there's actually only 22% of the AI workforce globally is women. And then when you look at that representation at a senior level, it goes right down to 14%. So mm. yeah, that's another thing for me is how do we bring everyone on this AI journey? So like having fair models, because if you don't have the diverse views involved, you will have skewed models and would would provide skewed responses from one point of view rather than a wider pool of views like the society is, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So I think we're going to see the biases from the fact that the biases within the data, but then also just in the industry in general. 